plane is waiting for us at Adelaide Airport to take us to Kangaroo Island. It's just a short flight to Kangaroo Island. We leave the dense urban landscape of Adelaide behind for the pastoral landscape of Kangaroo Island. We are on the ground at Kingscote, population 2000. Our first stop is at the appropriately named Seal Bay. It's the home of the endangered Australian sea lion. Seal Bay Conservation Park is the third largest sea lion colony in Australia. These sea lions only live on the south and west coasts of Australia. They were nearly hunted to extinction in the late 1800s. Today there are approximately 15,000 Australian sea lions in the world. They seem to be thriving here, with mothers nursing their pups and pups playing in the surf. We also learned about Ligurian bees and the Kangaroo Island honey industry. This Italian subspecies of honey bee were introduced to Kangaroo Island in 1884. Since there were no native bees on the island, the bees here are claimed to be the only pure Ligurian bees left. We're not quite to our destination yet, and it's lunchtime. We have an elegant meal under a tent in the bush. The chef prepares freshly caught whiting for us. A kangaroo greets us as we arrive at our home for the next two nights. The Southern Ocean Lodge is a very beautiful place. The manager welcomes us and points out the well-provisioned self-service bar. The lodge has won numerous awards for how its design fits the environment. A welcome swallow welcomes us to our room. I think we can make this work for a couple of nights. Time to explore. There's a trail that follows the edge of the cliff. The beautiful turquoise blue water of Hanson Bay makes this seascape really special. There's new flora to learn about. And some new birds. We're at the end of the trail. And looking back, we can barely make out the Southern Ocean Lodge. It is so well camouflaged into the slope of the land. When we get back to the lodge, the dining room is all set for dinner. But we have some time to get cleaned up. Dinner is a feast for the eyes and a symphony for the palate. The early morning mist hugs the shore as we wake up. After breakfast, we're in the bus to explore more of the wonders of Kangaroo Island. We're in Flinders Chase National Park. It's named for British explorer Matthew Flinders, who named Kangaroo Island in 1802. We're at Cape Takudik, the southwesternmost point on Kangaroo Island. This is home to a colony of New Zealand fur seals. It's fun watching the fur seal pups playing in a pool. Another wonder here at the Cape is Admiral's Arch, a natural archway carved by the wind and the waves. Cape de Kudik Lighthouse was built in 1906. The light's now automated and tourists can stay in the keeper's cottages. Our next wonder is remarkable rocks. These granite rocks have been eroded by 500 million years of wind, rain, and salt spray. They remind me of Henry Moore's vertebrae sculpture. It's not clear how they got their name. One explanation is that an early explorer made the annotation Remarkable Rocks on his chart and it was later mistaken as a place name. But it's so appropriate that the name has stuck. I'm glad we got here early. 
The rocks are not only remarkable, but also popular. Now all we need for a perfect day is some wildlife to photograph. And here they are at the entrance to the park. Great news, we have time to visit the Hanson Bay Wildlife Sanctuary to see koala. Koalas were introduced on Kangaroo Island in the 1920s along with several other species that were threatened on the mainland. By a lucky coincidence, a farmer planted monogum eucalyptus to line the road to his house because he liked the tree, and so do koalas. Just as we're getting ready to leave, we spot this beautiful crimson rosella. Back at the Southern Ocean Lodge, we have time for a walk on the beach. We do a little bird photography. And capture some of nature's abstract art. Then it's off to kangaroos and canapes, or, as we jokingly called it, boos and roos. The kangaroos here are used to people. If you move slowly, they'll keep on grazing. If you get too close, they hop away. The kangaroos here are a subspecies of the western gray kangaroo who have adapted to island life. Unlike other western grays, they're foragers as well as grazers. Their front limbs are longer so they can dig. We leave the kangaroos to finish their dinner in peace and head back to our dinner at the Southern Ocean Lodge. Another feast for the eyes. This is Marin, a freshwater crayfish, and foie gras three ways. This morning, the sunrise is spectacular. But it's time to leave Kangaroo Island. In no time we're back in Adelaide and ready for our next adventure. <laughs>